Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Shavinsky. I'm a Deputy Public Health Officer with Riverside County Public Health. Today I want to talk to you about treatment options for COVID-19. We have a number of options for treatment here in Riverside County. The first one I'm going to talk to you about is called Evusheld. This one is for prevention of COVID, so it's a little bit different than our other treatment options. This one is in particular for people that are immunocompromised, so people that might have cancer or they might have had a, a transplant um, or maybe they're on medications that bring down their immune system. So this gives them an, a, an option in addition to the vaccine with the plan to protect them for an additional six months on top of the vaccine that they have. This medication can also be used for people that have a contraindication to the vaccine. So people that have a severe allergy or anaphylaxis to the vaccine could also get this Evusheld product. In addition to the Evusheld, we also have more traditional products that you would give for people who come down with COVID-19. So people that test positive. And for them, there's a few different options. Most of these products are geared towards people that are at the highest risk. So people that we anticipate would get severe disease if they contracted COVID. The first one of these options uh, are oral antivirals. So these are oral pills. And the way that this works is your physician would write a prescription for these oral antiviral pills that would be sent to the pharmacy. So then you could pick them up at the pharmacy and take them. These pills, you would have to take them within the first five days of having COVID uh, in order for them to be effective. The second option is our monoclonal antibodies. So that's given through an IV infusion. That monoclonal antibody needs to be given within 10 days of having COVID in order for that to be effective. Citrovimab, this monoclonal antibody, in addition with some of the other treatments that we currently have, has been going through periods of shortage because of um, less product being available, um, being sent throughout California. And then the third option would be the remdesivir. And that one is also an IV infusion that works similarly, um, but for that one, you would have to go back three days in a row in order to uh, complete that treatment. And that needs to be done within seven days of having COVID. All of those options are really geared to people that have um, the highest risk of getting severe disease. So people that are either immunocompromised, people that have underlying health conditions, people that are unvaccinated and might have some of these underlying health conditions, those are the ones that are the best candidates for these kinds of treatments. We also have information about post-COVID condition or long COVID. So I recommend for more information on any of these treatments, in addition to treatments for long COVID, which are symptoms that may persist for four or more weeks after experiencing COVID, I would suggest that you see our website. You can go to www.rivcoph.org slash coronavirus slash treatment or give a call to 211.